Netflix's dive into historical romance with Bridgerton, based on Julia Quinn's series, appears to have captivated the entire world. The series is extravagant, romantic, hilarious, and addicting, and we can't get enough. As a result, we've compiled a reading list based on your favorite Bridgerton characters. So whether you're a lover of Anthony Bridgerton, a Eloise admirer, or a Queen Charlotte devotee, we've got the ideal book for you. First up on our list is Anthony Bridgerton. Anthony Bridgerton is the ninth Viscount Bridgerton in the family's patriarch. When his father Edmund died, he inherited the Viscountcy as the eldest son. When thinking about Anthony, the book A Wicked Bargain comes to mind, a novel that may perfectly complement Lord Bridgerton himself. Fans of Bridgerton will certainly fall in love with the Duke of Hasford as soon as they start reading, since Thaddeus and Anthony are so similar. Thaddeus, the next Duke of Hasford, is looking for a bride, just like Anthony. He also has a strong sense of responsibility and wants to do things perfectly. This necessitates the search for a woman who isn't rebellious or chaotic. Lady Jane Capel is is the ideal candidate if her sister, Lavinia, didn't meddle so much. While attempting to keep him away from her sister, Lavinia and Thaddeus find themselves in a precarious situation where only option is to marry. Next we have the iconic Lady Whistledown. Lady Whistledown is an enigma, well, at least until the last moments of the final season finale. But her gossip generates admiration, envy, and fear across the town. If you can't get enough of Lady Whistledown, then we highly recommend recommend reading My Lady Original by Lisa Clark. The book follows Lady Hermione, who thinks about Lord Dearneth and how he is very quite attractive. However, he's the best buddy of her own beloved friend Sandy, the man she's thinking about marrying. The book is filled with juicy details, scandalous moments, and most importantly, fully captures the same historical feel that Bridgerton features and has caught the attention of everyone with. We highly recommend checking this novel out. Edwina Sharp Sharma is the next on our list. Edwina is the youngest of the Sharma sisters and she has always been shielded by her older sister Kate and mother Mary. Since the Sharmas are seemingly on their last dollar, they want her to marry someone from a good family with money to spend. Though Kate hopes for Edwina to marry for love, Edwina is well aware that she is carrying a lot of weight. In the novel Her Wicked Marquis by Stacey Reed, Marianne Fitzwilliam, like Edwina, is a literary woman. She's a wallflower to to the core, but her parents want to marry her off to someone who is old enough to be her father, and she's not going to go along with it. So she opts to become embroiled in a scandal instead. Now on to Eloise Bridgerton, read The Rebel and the Rake. When watching Bridgerton, it's clear that Eloise is not at all like her siblings. She's also one of the few characters in the Netflix show that has a completely different story than in the book series. Eloise is uninterested in the marriage market and sees Season 2 and would rather spend her days with her best friend, Penelope Featherington. She enjoys reading and is a strong supporter of women's rights. While she is barely mentioned in the novels before To Sir Philip with Love, she is thrust into the spotlight in the show, particularly in Season 2. Now, if you are looking for a book that perfectly encapsulates Eloise's energy, then The Rebel in the Rake is the perfect choice. Sylvie Sparrow, the protagonist in the book, is a forward-thinking lady just like Eloise Bridgerton. She desires to remain anonymous so that the tone is aware of her past. She becomes a lady's companion to assist her in achieving her aim. Meeting the handsome Raffy Davies adds to the confusion, but she finds she isn't the only one with secrets. Benedict Bridgerton and his storyline is another character that fans can't get enough of. Benedict, who is the second eldest of the Bridgerton siblings, longs for something other than the never-ending round of glittering parties he is forced to attend. He is very well known within the series and a key character to everything that plays out. So so, when it comes to other novels that capture his kind of storyline, the novel The Bride Goes Rogue is the go-to. Catherine and her upcoming engagement to Preston Clark are the protagonists of the novel. Catherine is fed up with waiting for their engagement to end so she takes
takes matters into her own hands. When Catherine finally meets Preston, he refuses to accept the engagement, breaking Catherine's heart in the process. She abandons all romantic illusions and sets out to discover the wonders of New York City, only to discover that Preston now wants to marry her. Sound familiar? Next, we have Simon Bassett, the Duke of Hastings. Read The Duchess War. Now, it's hardly an exaggeration to claim that in the first season, we all fell in love with Simon. The Duke is both flirtatious and dedicated. When we saw Simon with his father, though, it was clear that his childhood was not ideal. In the novel titled In the Duchess War, Robert Blaisdell, the main character, and the Duke of Claremont had a similar story. He was the kind of a loveless marriage, and he was frequently ignored by his own parents throughout his youth. Even if he didn't show it, he has always sought out love. You'll watch him meet Wallflower Miss Minerva Lane in this book, who will truly uncover every tiny secret he has hidden. Finally, we have Queen Charlotte. We can all agree on one thing, Queen Charlotte enjoys gossiping. Lady Constance, on the other hand, should be the Queen's equal. Both are wealthy, attractive, meddlesome, and enjoy a little gossip. They'd actually make great buddies. In the book, The Earl I Ruined by Scarlett Peckham, the main character, Lady Constance, strives to right the wrong she has caused to the Earl of Apthorpe in her gossip column. The only way out? She now has to give up her hand in marriage. The Earl doesn't realize the woman he's been secretly in love with is the one responsible for his demise at first, but his heart breaks when she tells him the truth. They have a month to prove their love to society and clear their identity. Now, if you are searching for books similar to Bridgerton and the entire plot line, then look no further. Here are a few that we highly recommend reading. Now, first on our list is the actual Bridgerton novel series, which consists of nine books. These books, beginning with Julia Quinn's Bridgerton trilogy, will keep you occupied if you aren't already familiar with all things within the Netflix series. So, if you can't get enough of the Bridgerton family, you might want to pick up all nine books in the series. The series is packed with both known and new family members you'll obsess over chapter after chapter, from Colin Bridgerton and Penelope Featherington's narrative to the adventures of the new heroine, Hyacinth Bridgerton. Secondly, we have Mr. Malcolm's List by Susan Elaine. The novel truly embodies the Bridgerton storyline. The book follows the Honorable Jeremy Malcolm traveling to London to look for a wife who meets a stringent set of criteria. He specifically seeks someone who is unconcerned with social advancement. Here comes Selena. She is the daughter of a vicar and travels to London with a friend with the intention of exacting revenge on Mr. Malcolm himself. When Selena meets Jeremy Malcolm and finds him charming, the plan becomes a little more complicated. Next, Everything Forbidden by Jess Michaels. This is the book for you if your favorite part of Bridgerton was the raunchy bits. Within this novel, living is costly, so it becomes typical for other male or female relatives to sponsor poor relatives in order to improve their chances. As a result, the heroine in this novel offers her services to the Duke next door in exchange for him sponsoring her sisters. Now, this book is not for the faint of heart because this is a really spicy love story. Consider Fifty Shades of Grey meets Historical England. Devil's Bride by Stephanie Lawrence is the next novel on our list. Stephanie Lawrence's sinister series, like the many Bridgerton siblings, is about a vast broad of sinister siblings. Each novel is about a different sibling's love story. In the first book, Devil, the sinister family's most notorious member, is discovered in a compromising position with spunky governess Honoria Weatherby. He stuns the entire town by proposing marriage. Nobody imagined this promiscuous rake would ever marry. As society mothers wept over the loss of England's most eligible bachelor, the devil's infamous sinister cousins started betting on the wedding date. These books are similar to Bridgerton, only difference, a new pair of siblings. Finally, Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. This historical romance is set in 1879 England and relates the story of Annabelle Archer, a member of the University of Oxford's first female class. She is tasked with locating influential men who will back the women's suffrage campaign. And it isn't long until she comes across Sebastian Devereux, Duke of Montgomery. His backing could be crucial because he's already involved in politics, but he also happens to disagree with all of Annabelle's ideals. This novel will certainly quench your Bridgerton thirst. And there you have it, some of the best books to read based on your favorite characters. Thanks for watching.